what's going on everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel nicole of course today i have your boy zeddy chunk chunk and we are doing white castle yes we are yay our i haven't favorites. had this in forever i love white castle oh my goodness okay so we are holding up these trays yeah. right here <laughs> we're gonna put them down yeah we are gonna put this down because i can't do it anymore oh, oh. um keep the balance and we can we can pray okay. i don't know if you want do you want to put yours up there no, or okay. hold mine right now okay Father God, I want to thank you for this food and please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, yeah. So the original plan was to go back to David's house and film this in his studio, but mm -hmm. it's getting later and I think it's about to rain. Um, and also there's it's traffic time. So I didn't want the food to get cold. Yeah. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um but I'm really, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I am really, really excited to eat these. Yes, me too. <laughs> Let me go ahead and grab some uh, ketchup. You want some ketchup? Uh, they give us so much mustard. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just bite one right away. <laughs> mm. When's the last time you had a White Castle? Um. I was on Fremont and my friend ordered like a whole box because mm. they were with a group of people. Mm -hmm. So I just remember they were carrying them around the casino mm. and every time someone wanted one, they would just go up to them. They would open up the box. <laughs> so random people were got asking? No, no. Something? The group that they were, the group that oh, came. Oh, okay. Think they would have been nice enough to give a random person? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I love me White Castle. I love White Castle. Unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. Ultra's just over McDonald's. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, McDonald's and all that stuff. Well, I, I definitely prefer McDonald's fries over theirs. Mm -hmm. McDonald's fries just hits different. Yeah, they are pretty good. Mm -hmm. I haven't done a caramel bun in so long. I, I know. I'm just already feel something on me already. <laughs> no, today was just like kind of running errands. Um, mm -hmm. we went to Winko, mm -hmm. um, because I wanted to grab some things, and then. Do you want to tell them the first place? Or do you want to wait? Mm -hmm. Should I tell them? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell them. So since we were coming over here to Winko. And if you don't know what Winko is, it's basically like, it's kind of like an Aldi's, like a discount yeah. grocery store. Mm -hmm. And um, I was getting some stuff to make um, for a mukbang soon. That will be coming out soon. And um, Devin was like, since we're over here, I really want to show you this spot. Well, you've been telling me about it for mm -hmm. like a while now. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, yeah, like kind of just brushing it off or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, you said, it, oh, it's like this really good soul food spot, yeah. da, da, da. and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Like, I definitely trust your your judgment because um, you have really good taste in food. Mm -hmm. But I was very shocked. <laughs> yeah. And I hyped it up. Well, I I was super hyping it up. I was like, this will be the best food you have in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I don't like to hi hype things up too much because... Whenever you overhype things, it can be hectic. Mm -hmm. But I kept typing on like, trust me, trust me. It's going to be the best. It's going to be the best. And she's thinking like, okay, soul food is good. You know? Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's going to be some soul food. But guys, got to start took her too. I put Chris and Jamil on too. Took her to Harold's Chicken. Oh my gosh. Well, the difference between um, them and me is the fact that I know what I-57 tastes like yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. And this is a Chicago place. Yeah. But I've been there with you and your family. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's great. Mm. I love that for me. Oh. At least I, and I also just got a, a free car wash today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So At least I didn't vacuum. <laughs> everything, oh, that's good. So everything else is going great today. Today was a productive day for you. Though. Yeah, it was a really good day. I went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, you want some of my fries? No, it's fine. Not all of them fell out. Plus, I'll eat them off the floor. I always clean my car out. You can put uh, some old things in here. Don't put that. Oh, that's that's probably so good. This one's empty. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um. 
was about to say oh, oh productive <laughs> productive day and also um i know i just had a new setup for you guys with this tray but the thing is since we were out and about i didn't think of bringing my tripod my regular tripod with me mm -hmm. so yeah next time i'll show you guys the food but um sorry <laughs> what'd you rate harold's one through ten oh <clears throat> i'm happy they gave me so much ketchup but i mean so much mustard not enough ketchup oh uh, you can use my i don't use ketchup you can have mine uh, how do you like that that brown mustard uh this is the my first time on. oh okay Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. oh. Oh, no. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is this good right there? <sighs> you see the yellow one? Yeah. Oh, we dropped you guys, but we're back. Sorry. Oh, anywho, mm. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, well, I was saying, well, the, 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 the brown mustard. Mm. How you think of that? Mm -hmm. You like that? Because mm -hmm. cause Nicole didn't know. I was like, oh, it's spicy mustard. Just try it. So you tried a lot of things for the first time there. Yeah. No, but I'm coming back to Harold's and I'm doing a mukbang. Mm -hmm. That was, first of all, I love catfish. Uh -huh. That catfish was very fresh. Mm -hmm. I can't stand when I go to a place and catfish is not good. Mm -hmm. It was fresh. It was nice like white meat uh -huh. thick white meat and then that salt that mi what is it mild mm -hmm. mild sauce mild sauce uh -huh. oh my gosh i was doing a little dance yeah. i was like nee, 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 nee. so good mm. and i saw nicole too i'm like i'm like we need to go here we need to go here and hit us and yes it's a dry but it's worth it and i was and i told you i was like once we go here you're gonna be like how come you didn't take me sooner i'm like i tried to <laughs> I kept putting it off because I was like, okay, and I'm sure it's good, but it's not, I don't know. I'm sure it was be good, like I said, but. You didn't know it was going to taste like. I didn't know it was going to be I-57, and the thing is, once we, like, we ordered something small mm -hmm. because our original plan was to do a video today. Yeah. So we just got a plate to share, and uh, once he, like, brought it to the table, he was like, this is going to taste just like I-57. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. what? So I do want to make things cut. One thing, too, is this is the closest thing we're going to get to I-57. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's just like I-57. Right, right, right. Because some people say, no, that's two totally different profiles. But um, Nicole hasn't had that in what? I-57 is so long, so I knew it was going to be similar to her. Uh-huh. We've been, what, probably over like... Um, know, 10 years or something yeah because uh why did we go to chicago my family reunion yeah, was that a reunion no but i don't i think that was two different times oh is that a cookout i don't know, I don't know. actually that picture you just sent me mm -hmm. um was at the cookout when i freaking almost broke my toe mm -hmm. I remember that. <laughs> oh we also explored a new mall a new mall today oh, too. gallery mall the Galleria, uh -huh. and I like that mom. Yeah, that was my first time going. It was actually pretty nice. It was nice. Also, I'm trying the new Zesty sauce. How's that? It's like, Excuse it me. has the flavor of like a, not horseradish, but it's like a Ooh. wasabi. It has like the spice of a wasabi. Can I try? Uh-huh. You want a chicken ring with it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. He looked it up more. Oh, one thought. It has like a wasabi oh. mayo taste. Man. No. It reminds me of um like shrimp cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. But it has that wasabi I don't spice like it. to it. Like that spice I that don't. goes up your nose. I'm not a fan of that. Mm -hmm. You like it? Uh -huh. Or you just need a sauce to dip. I just need a sauce. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't uh, get this. I mean, I would, but it'll be this with multiple other sauces. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm messing up my only good pair of leggings. I wish I would have got uh, some. Uh, what is it called? Some uh, barbecue sauce. <laughs> barbecue. Mm -hmm. Get me a power eight <laughs> right here. Power up. 
you know, I think, um, I think it's actually, well, like I said, it looks like it's supposed to rain right now, but I think it's also supposed to rain, um, well, it said 50% rain on Friday. Mm. So I think the best day to go to Fremont or whatever, because mm -hmm. you know how we were making plans? Yeah. It's Saturday night. You know, I'm really excited. Are you? I've been excited. thinking about it. I am excited because I, I low key, like I said, I was telling ZCC fam, I think I want to go live for y'all that day. Mm -hmm. And I plan on having a couple of drinks. I definitely, I can't get too late because um, I have stuff to do all weekend, but mm -hmm. I definitely want to have a green beer. Mm. Well, I'll say, did you end up going super lit with your friends? No. Um, Cause the first time I remember you were out for the count. Yeah. The first time was. I'm that actually full off of this. Are you? Mm-hmm. You're I saying have, you're really hungry. I can. Uh, usually, I can eat like seven, eight of these burgers. I think I have two left. I love my castle. Mm-hmm. I, I think the reason why I say I choose to live in McDonald's is because of the fact that it's so weird that I get to get it. Mm -hmm. You know, I finally live in a city that sell that serves that sells it. Ohio did too, but literally every place that I live that has a White Castle, I'd never lived by one. Yeah, Ohio, I didn't live by one. My parents did. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my gosh! Mm. So. The other day, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't think I told you this. Mm. The other day, I was waiting in the parking lot to um, for something. Mm -hmm. I was waiting in my car, mm -hmm. and I uh, I look over, and there's this man just standing outside of his car mm. in a Smith's parking lot, or I don't know, some grocery store. And he's walking back and forth slowly. Mm. And every like woman that Pat like gets out the car or whatever, he like is staring them down. Yeah. I'm like, okay, it could be two different things. He could be like a tracker or mm. he could also, I could see people being like a Uber driver and they're waiting for, mm -hmm. but. We don't ever get out the car though. True. And also, um, cause he was doing it for a minute and then I, um, I, we were like pretty far away from each other. Like it was, it was like me here and then that black car that's parked over there. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, um, so I started recording him with my phone and as soon as I think he seen me, I didn't think he could see me because I was farther, further away. Plus I had like tints on my car. But he, I, he must have seen me because when he'd seen my phone, he got in and drove off like, like really quick, mm. like hit it out the parking lot. So I'm like, just, you know, you guys always tell me like, be careful, be aware of your surroundings and stuff like that. And believe me, I am. I'm always aware of my surroundings. My mom raised me to be like that. Dalvin, yeah, I, you. I was just going to give you credit. <laughs> yeah. Dalvin also tells me that, you know, all the time, like my mom always was on that. Like yeah. be, aware, be aware of your surroundings and lock your doors and this, this and that. Yeah. And yeah, I'm on that. But that was just a little too sketchy for me. Mm. Hey, come been looking for his wife. You're probably looking to shoot a shot. No. He was... <laughs> An older gentleman with like kind of longer gray hair with a ponytail, and I actually have a little clip on Did my he phone. Look put together? He had like jeans and a hoodie on, but I have um, the video still saved on my phone. Mm -hmm. um, it was a silver car, and I don't I don't remember what the license plate is, but i heard a lot of that goes on here well anywhere you know what i'm saying but a lot of it happens does happen here in in nevada so yeah i don't know it just it, gotta stay safe out here it just gave me the chills mm -hmm. you start caring i know no you don't want to i don't want to why don't you want to i don't know <laughs> i just i don't know i can well and now I'm gonna do my classes here in Nevada. My Texas aisle. Well, I did the class with you in Ohio. My Texas one. 
is granted for Nevada, but I want to get a Nevada one. Yeah. And also, the class that I found that helped me get my Utah one too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Because you can you can do it online to submit for Utah. So every state has a different. You have to t take a different class. It's the same thing, but yeah. So then, do you get two different cards, Nevada and Utah, or does it just go? Yeah, yeah, I have Nevada and Utah. Oh. Yeah. When are you ever gonna go to Utah? No, it's just the the fact of getting a Utah one is because some some other states may grant Utahs like. Uh, recognize Utah's uh, concealed carry license. Oh, okay. So like how Texas, like I said, Ohio validates my Texas one. Mm -hmm. Nevada validates my Texas one. But for example, California doesn't see my Texas as a valid. So if I go to Cali, well, Cali doesn't so, let you. Yeah. Cali doesn't. See it's only long. People. But um, if I go to Cali, long, uh, stuff, right? Yeah, but if I go to Cali, yeah, they want to accept it. Chicago want to accept it. Oh, okay. but no, for it's, I don't really don't know California's laws, so I don't even know if it's even long guns. I thought they can only carry those. I don't really don't know California, I haven't really studied it because my city they're infringing on my second amendment. I refuse to go, <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess this is the closest I'm gonna be able to live on the west coast uh, to California to be able to practice my second amendment rights. <laughs> you know where I really want to take a trip. Mm. To where's that? Um, Disneyland. Mm, never been. Yeah. Mm. I was just watching a live, and I don't know. I just want to be. When's the last time you've been to a theme park in general? Um, Summerfest. No, because I wouldn't consider that a theme park, would you? I don't. No, no, it's not a theme park. Right. I I want to say I would want I would count. Um, when I was in or Orlando oh, visiting my mom's best friend, we went to. Um, I should ask for a barbecue. We went to uh, uh, some theme theme uh, park. Epcot. No, mm. that's in Disney World. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you know because I just told you about that. Nah. -uh. Yes, I did. I literally. You didn't say nothing about Epcot. I promise. I never you, even heard you say that word in your I life. I promise you on everything uh, I love. Once we turn this off, I'm gonna explain to you the exact moment that I told you. Say, say the, say the word Epcot. No, Epcot. <laughs> yeah, but you never said it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we went to um, we were trying to get Disney tickets, but they were so hard to get. What's, it's not SeaWorld, it's uh, some amusement park out there. <laughs> she had a pass. About it. Las Vegas is a big amusement park. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's... Oh, I want to go... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say too much right now. I'm going to explain it in a different video. Mm. Well... But I have some future plans for my channel that I want you to be a part of. After leaving the Galleria... You had a moment where you're like, man, I actually love this city. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you? So what do you think overall? You like, are you happy you moved to, to LV? Yes. Are you I, happy you got to experience it? Yeah. I'm happy I moved here. I'm happy that I got to experience the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Um. And who knows? I, I may like move for a couple of years and come back. Mm -hmm. I, it's not that I don't like Nevada, it's just that, <sighs> to be totally honest, I just wanna be closer to my friends and family because I've been gone for what, five, six years? Mm -hmm. Since I moved to Ohio mm -hmm. and you know, people are getting older and I just feel like I need to spend I need to be right around the corner rather than, you know, thousands of miles away. Yeah. So, I'm still young. I can still come back here within a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Well, mom and dad, I'll see you later, alligator. Oh, oh my okay. gosh. <laughs> now, How long do you see yourself staying here? Do you know? Uh, I can see me doing a three-piece. Three-piece mm -hmm. chicken nugget. I think three is like a good amount, you know. Because you get to really learn the city. Yeah, because was it? Well, not 
Including the first time you went to Texas? Yeah, I pretty much kind of three years. So my first time was like six months. Okay, yeah. So three years in Texas. Three piece in. So if I did a three piece, I'll be 32 or 31, 32. I'll be there 29, leaving yeah, 31, 32. If I did a three piece. Okay, so. <clears throat> Say you did your three years here. Yep. And say you didn't find anybody, you know, like a significant other. You haven't settled down yet, whatever. After those three years and you lived your best life in Vegas, are you going to be like, okay, like it's mm -hmm. time for me to settle down now. Mm -hmm. Find me a wife. Yeah. Have some kids. Mm -hmm. And well, all that. Yeah. I believe Vegas, first of all, I wish... Well, like I said, I still like I still feel my prime is yet to come. Um, but I wish I would have started off with Vegas before I moved to Houston. To be honest, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this city is the perfect city to live as a single person, single man, definitely. I don't know about single woman because I don't know what it's like to be a woman. Plus, you gotta know you guys have so much dangers, especially here in Las Vegas. You gotta look out for. But as a single man. 100% the best city to be a single guy. It's just it's literally just too much fun out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they're also just the things to do, just like taking flights, like, and then going places. <sighs> like, even I've never been the type. <laughs> but let's say if you want to fly someone out. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm not yeah, the yeah. type to do that. No, <laughs> but the flights are so cheap. Uh -huh. Going anywhere and then shopping and then just. This is a perfect place to live, single. Yeah, and um, they are. Uh, I don't know if they're like almost done or whatever, but if you do stay here for like two more years or whatever, mm -hmm. um, the the bullet train to Cali mm -hmm. would be one, two, three. I yeah. mean, it still is a flight too. Yeah. But I think it would be really, really dope to experience the, the bullet train. And then the fact that it's what it's only uh, yeah, a flight to Cali, you literally can get a round trip for like sixty. Yeah, and it's only like an hour mm -hmm. or maybe 45 minutes max. And I'm plugged in with a private airline. Yeah. I'm plugged in. I'm going to head take the jet. Y'all mm -hmm. think I'm capping too. Watch, I'm going to do a vlog on it. Am I invited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I know, uh, but uh, yeah, that, that jet's even cheap too. Yeah, I know. But what I was going to say though is... Yeah. um. What was I say? Man, I'm full. Oh, AZ. Wrong yeah. Like, Costco to jump is like sixty dollars round trip. Uh, I want to go to I want to go to Arizona, Colorado, and um, Utah. Yeah, and all this stuff is right around the corner. Yeah. Only, only thing that was so clutch about Texas though, living in Houston, you're in the center of the U.S. Uh huh. So getting anywhere was quick and easy. Yeah. Like New York is probably gonna be like a six, six piece. Yeah, yeah, I know, I six. know. Yeah, that's the only. Mm -hmm downside about that because going back home is like three hours 45 minutes so that's, that's to milwaukee yeah. yeah so that's probably yeah five to six piece from here versus tech i feel like texas you're in the middle you can get anywhere yeah it's but like, then i feel like everything was like a two a three hour uh -huh. from texas max you know uh-huh and that's literally my limit when it comes to my motion sickness Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Plus, on top of it, Texas is just so big. You can go to like Dallas or Austin, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad that I didn't go to those places when I was living. You in didn't Texas. go to Austin? No. I, when no. I went to Austin, I was honestly so shocked how close Austin is to Houston. Dang, I'm literally so mad. an hour and like 45, like two hour drive. What the heck? Yeah. Why did I never drive Austin there? Austin is dumb close to Houston. That's like a regular drive in Houston. Mm -hmm. Literally two hours. I what the like, heck? What? Well, I did go visit um, Galveston a lot. Did you ever go there? Yeah. When? And for what? I was going to say, did I go with you? No. <laughs> uh, we never went together, no. Um. Yeah, but I definitely went. Oh. Uh, I used to just actually, go to Actually, I, I got a vlog there. Oh, did you? Yeah, if you watch my channel, you'll see. <laughs> I... But I do got a vlog there. Oh. So did you go on the pier and do the rides? No, I didn't do none of that. I didn't uh, even go on the pier. Oh, you didn't? Did you even go on the beach? Uh, yeah, I, I was on the beach for a little bit. Uh -huh. What you call it? I did it right before I moved to Houston. 
this I mean right before I moved to Vegas. This was like oh. my tour. Like I when I went to Austin, I went to Galveston. Do you remember? I remember I, uh, when you were going around a lot. Yeah. yeah, I went to Dallas. Yeah. But I didn't know that it was Galveston. Yeah, I went to Galveston one time. Did my last because I knew I was leaving Texas. So I was like, let me see these last few spots and see what's going on. Well, I can always just fly out to Austin, you know, if I wanted to. I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I feel like next year is gonna be my year okay. of travel. Well, yeah, I'm gonna work on it. I'm mm -hmm. gonna work on it because. There's a lot of stuff in the near future that's going to be But you want to do that by yourself, though? You know, your friends will be outside? Because I know your uh, friends got kids. Yeah. Um. I mean... I don't know. Lexi, you know, her kid is a little bit older, so... You're about to be the number one babysitter. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> No, but um, I think Lexi can do traveling more because you know her kid is older, so it's not like she's leaving a, What's a like baby. like twelve? Yeah, cause she twelve. They grown. Let them be. Yeah, yeah. Leave them a couple packs of noodles. <laughs> it's PB and J's. I mean, I could. Mm -hmm. My mom started letting me stay home alone at twelve. Mm -hmm. Um, but she still like yeah, she still has like someone to like actually watch Anna. So, mm. but. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I definitely. Um, actually, my goal for next year yeah. is to go somewhere out of the country. Mm. I think my first place, the safest bet, is going to be Hawaii for me. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. I, or I want to go to Jamaica. Mm. I think the reason why I chose Hawaii is because, well, I really don't know. I don't know. You kind of want to live places. in Hawaii. I, I had thoughts about that. I literally had thoughts. I think it would be so peaceful. To do a two-piece. I thought I had thoughts about doing a two-piece in, 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 uh, really? in Hawaii. But obviously, during that two years, I the wouldn't be traveling is, nowhere. Yeah, I was going to say, like, to come back, you know, that flight is going to be, like, extra um, long. And just imagine going. Because I, Cause I believe from, like, the from Cali to mm -hmm. Hawaii is, like, maybe four or five hours. So imagine, like... I don't know, say if you move back to Texas or if you were come, like, say if I move back to Wisconsin, imagine Wisconsin to Hawaii. Yeah. Whew, that's yeah, too I was thinking about because even going to my parents' house for the holidays. Yeah. That would be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should just come to you. Who wouldn't yeah, want to go to Hawaii? That's very true. <laughs> right? Have you, do you know if your parents been? They've been yeah, to yeah. Jamaica, right? Uh -huh. They've been to Hawaii too. Yeah. Destination uh, vacation for, uh, for uh christmas destination who wouldn't want like that because um, we did a destination they uh las vegas and uh arizona we did it in phoenix this is when Darius was going to school in tucson we did a uh, thanksgiving in phoenix one time was that with you mm -mm. oh okay um this is I, you know darius has been on my mind i really want to see him in collab this is him. when i signed the lease to my first the loss i was going to get in henderson Oh, okay. And then I signed a lease and I was so geeked up that day. I like and everything. And then um and then I ended up going to see it and I canceled. It wasn't your your thing. I mean I went there, it was just so much that needed to be done. Like okay. because it was an older building. That that building was before its time though. Cause the layout is still beautiful. They just need to update things. They need newer carpet, new appliances, the walls mm, need to be painted. Okay. But that Yeah, that you layout, like fresh. Oh, yeah, I love them. You know, like those, unlived in those were built in 2016 oh or 2016 so th that's kind 2006 of 2006 or so oh that's really old for yeah, you yeah but that's how the, the fact that i considered it that's how nice this place was hey what'd you say did you say a condo it was a uh, loft oh a loft okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always like a loft. I always wanted to live in a loft. I wanted like the industrial kind well, of. After uh, living in my Milwaukee loft, I've just been obsessed. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. But also, I hate when apartments say lofts and it's not the look over. The loft. yeah. I like, like the look why, over. Why do they even? I consider... don't consider nothing. No. Up. Well, they, I think what it is is because the industrials. Like you see the pipes. Yeah, but no. I when I think of a loft, I think of like windy stairs and you have like a little yeah, area the look over yeah the pass through so that's the only thing i consider a loft is a pass through and that place had one it's actually not many lofts in vegas it's probably like count on one hand how many lofts there is maybe two you know um my cousins have lived in some pretty 
cool loft apartments in Milwaukee. Mm, Milwaukee had actually a few. Yeah, and they're all um, well where they stayed is like Bayview yeah. area. Did they have one? Was one? I know there's one by the airport, like 20th uh, by that hotel we used to be at on all the time. Way uh, people on 20th and Layton, like. Oh, like, I gotta tell you something about that hotel. Mm -hmm. It's something else now. <laughs> It's been uh, something else. Yeah, but it's really somewhere. Anywho, no, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, I would love to live in a loft. I'm actually, well, never mind. I can't. I don't want to. Don't want to spill the beans? No, I'm going to save Speaking it. Speaking of the beans, I watched even Steven's uh, the family vacation. I haven't seen that in mm, years. My beans is the neighbor. Yeah, Remember Baines, huh? I actually just watched a podcast, and um, they the the they were sister and brother, right? Cool. Oh, even and Stevens girl. and the girl. Yeah. You know they dated during that show. Oh, they did. Yeah, and mm. I think they were there each other's first. Oh, wow, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. I wonder how how much of how how heavy they were in their role though, because you know some people really embody their role. Yeah. So that's kind of hectic. They, yeah. If they were that kind of people to right. really embody their role. Right. But I wonder if people embody their role as much if they're doing a show because you're playing this character all yeah, the time because versus I guess, a movie. A movie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, because um, a lot of people are basically like Wicked, the one with Ariana. Mm -hmm. She people are saying like she's really embodying her her like, role, and she's even like talking like in regular uh, like in yeah. interviews and stuff that she's talking like the person that she's playing. Because versus a movie, like you're working on for say, let's say I don't know how long movies does. So let's say five months. You could really just become that person. Five yeah. Months. Versus. A show that's going on for seasons, you still got to get back to regular life because you've been doing this three, four years. Uh -huh. You need to still have your personal side. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Oh, you know what else just came out? Uh, yeah. um, documentary on um, Nickelodeon. Did you hear about it? Mm -mm. Oh, it's, I don't know where it's on, but it's um, something about Nickelodeon that the one dark of side. yeah the dark Idea. side of uh that's what it's called mm. the dark side of Nickelodeon or the dark side of something like that and it has to deal with I can't say you mm. know but yeah, they all you know you know sides. well uh uh Drake Bell mm. is the person so I haven't watched it yet I want to watch it um please comment down below where you can find that I I'm sure I can just google it but you know, if you can just comment it, that would be good too. You know what they need to make <laughs> is a Cartoon Network live, uh, Cartoon Network Plus, and they need to make a Nickelodeon Plus because Cartoon Network is owned by like, I don't know if it's Paramount or Peacock because they got Cartoon Network stuff on different on, on HBO Max or other stuff. Uh huh. But I feel like if they make a dedicated Cartoon Network, that would go crazy. Mm -hmm. Cartoon Network and it has like all the old school Johnny Bravo, Powerpuff Girls, Cat Dog. You know, or is it Nickelodeon? Hey Arnold. Oh, I, I don't know. Nickelodeons. I and don't then, know. Um, yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Mm -hmm. That was pretty much the Three Stooges. Now think about it. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Mm -hmm. Someone's coming to park right next to me. All right. Yeah, I'm um I'm stuffed, yeah, and it. I kind of want to get home before this storm. Mm -hmm starts to happen um because i just want to lay in my bed when it's raining i love it that's like my favorite thing to do so where can they find you at snapchat instagram youtube twitter and tiktok always at a chunk like that is z-a-d-y c-h-o-k c-h-o-k and you can find me here on youtube and instagram at nicole of course on snapchat twitter tiktok it's nicole of course with two e's at the end facebook is zero spaces nicole of course thank you so much for being on my channel mm -hmm. and i hope you enjoyed our meal and our little uh, yeah. kick it day yeah we definitely had a long day right for you to drop me off and i'm about to watch youtube videos that's what your plan is for the rest of the night yeah i was supposed to edit today but it's looking too late i don't want to drop too late for the east coast people Mm. Did you already drop our first video? Yeah. Okay. Today. Mm -hmm. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Mwah!